Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin and today we're playing The Walking Dead. Never thought the day would come when I'd say that, but I'm so excited. The day is finally here. Last episode was so much fun. I'm having a really good time with this game and I know this whole series is probably going to take me a long time to get through, but I'm in it for the long haul, man. I am very excited to get to know these characters better and the story. I'm very, very excited to get into this episode, so I'm not going to waste any time. Let's get into the recap of what happened last time. So in this game, we are playing as Lee Everett, a man who has a very troubled past in the last few months of his life at least. Before this point, he had been a really successful teacher and things were looking up in his life. Unfortunately, it did not stay that way for very long, not just because he is in the world of The Walking Dead, <laughs> but he is being tried for murder as the game opens basically and he's being transported out of Atlanta. I don't know if it's either to a courthouse or a prison or something like that but he is being tried for the murder of a senator I believe who was sleeping with his ex-wife so I mean it's understandable to be very upset at your spouse or you know whoever you're with for cheating on you However, I do not condone murder. <laughs> At first, I wasn't sure if he actually killed this man, but I think it's basically confirmed from Lee that he did do it or he admitted to it at some point. So that's an interesting way to start out his character. Although I do really like Lee so far. He seems like a really kind hearted guy. I think he has his flaws as far as maybe murder, <laughs> but I just can't help but like him so far. I really do. As we were in the police car being transformed out of Atlanta, we were talking to the police officer in the car for a little bit. And at some point he got distracted and we ended up hitting a walker on the road which led to this huge car crash. It was quite the opening. It was very insane. Really cool way to start out the game, kind of just diving you right into it. We found the police officer on the ground and he was already dead. So that means he had now turned into a walker. Lee shot him with his shotgun. I wish he would have kept the shotgun, but he didn't. Lee, what are you doing, man? Another thing about him is that he is extremely clumsy. I swear, he keeps tripping over everything and is the funniest thing. At one point while we're running through the woods trying to avoid all these walkers, we saw a little girl in the distance who we now know is a girl named Clementine. She was only an eight-year-old little girl and her parents went on a trip together and they never came home. She was left with a babysitter and unfortunately that babysitter died at some point. I'm not sure how but now Clem is all by herself and Lee has taken it upon himself to take care of her. We decided to leave the town before it got dark so that way we had the safety of daylight. We ran into two men, Sean and Chet, I think. Sean, actually Sean Green, who is a son of Herschel, invited us to go back to their farm with them. So we did. We met Herschel and he patched up Lee's leg a little bit. I was very excited to see Herschel because I already talked about it, man, but I'm a huge fan of the show. I don't know if this game is more so based on the comics or the show. I don't know either way. Either way, I'm just, I was excited. And when we woke up in the morning, we talked to a few of the other people staying at the farm, including a man named Kenny and his family, his wife and his son. Kenny also seems like a really cool guy. I definitely want to know more about him later on. He's kind of like sweet, but he's also pretty badass. Like he doesn't take any shit and I love that. However, while we were distracted talking to Herschel, we ended up hearing screams coming from the yard and Herschel's son, Sean, was being attacked by walkers. And at the same time, Kenny's son, Duck, was being attacked by walkers as well. And we had to make the decision of who to save. And I went with Kenny's son because he was just, he's just a boy and I didn't want their family to be broken apart so soon. I don't know. I, I don't know if it was the right decision or not because I really liked Sean and to be honest, he'd probably be more help than the kid. But from a moral aspect, I f it felt more right to save the little boy. Again, I don't know if that was right. I feel bad about the decision, but I'm sticking with it because now Herschel hates us, but Kenny likes us. So we went off with Kenny. His plan was to go to Lauderdale, I believe, and try to see if the government's going to handle this. But obviously we know that is not going to be the case. We drove off with him and we got to, I don't know if we were in Macon or not, but we were close. The car ran out of gas and we had to get out and search for more. When we were surrounded by walkers, we ended up being saved by 
Glenn, who's also in this game. I was not expecting. I was really excited to see him. And someone I thought was Maggie, but it actually turned out to be a woman named Carly. They took us inside of a convenience store and we were confronted by this new group of people, including a very angry man who I forgot the name of. He's the father of another woman there named Lily, and he was being very aggressive towards Kenny's son, claiming that he got bit. And Kenny was ready to shoot him in the head, like he was not about to take any of that. I almost let him, but I tried to calm everything down. We got distracted again when Clem ran into some walkers and we were able to kill them. So that kind of dispersed the argument for the time being. Her dad ended up having some sort of heart attack or something. Something with the problem with his heart. So now he's kind of incapacitated, which is probably for the best, let's be honest. So now we have to find like heart medicine for him. I just, I don't know why we're sticking with this guy, but I don't know. Glenn went off to find more gas. And now the rest of us are just in this convenience store. I'm very interested to see how this all plays out. I can't wait to keep playing. So let's not waste more time. Let's get into this game and see what happens next. Okay, we're back. <laughs> I don't know what's happening over there. I don't know if you guys can see them. But anyway, we're back. Um, just had to uh, play a quick cutscene. So sorry if it's different from where I left off. But let's see if I can talk to Clem before I go. I don't think I can. Oh, how's your finger? How's your finger? I think I Clem? did this last Good. time. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. I just wanted to do that in case it uh, didn't register from last time. Okay, I think I think we're all set. We can go get Glenn now. Hey there. Hey, girl. You handle yourself well. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm oh. sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> that guy sa uh was he like her cameraman or something? That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps or, or ghouls or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. <laughs> Damn, he's like oh. right there. What uh, the? Oh, nothing. Ooh, make a move, girl. How'd you end up here? How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. Hmm. Alright, let's go. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Glenn better not die here. This whole thing is making me really want to play, or not play, uh, read the comics. I'm thinking of like going to library literally today and picking them up. Get down. Ah! Oh boy. Just don't shoot the gun unless you absolutely have to. Hmm, okay. Did you see that? Sure did. The what? Be ready to shoot. No, no, that's a bad idea. Guys. Oh. Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. <laughs> we almost freaking shot you, dude. Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. Uh, we gotta go uh, now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room. I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. <laughs> now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about it if it was you. Mm. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think we have a choice here. What, was this first person all of a sudden? Who is this girl? Whoa. What is with this camera? I'm like flying. Flying around. Oh, okay. Jeez. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. 
So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. How does he know that, though? I mean, I'm not complaining, but... It's over the wall. Oh, okay. She's eating something. So we got that one right there, close. Okay. Where to next? We can probably make it over to the RV. Or down to the truck if we're quick and quiet about it. Let's go. I hope. Oh. I'm not good at split se second decisions with a lip. Um. We're a little naked out here. Except for Carly's gun and we can't use that much. Okay. Okay. Frick. I need to... I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. So what do I do? Okay, um... Maybe not over here then. Let's head back to that wall. Safe there. Okay, uh, where else can I go besides the truck? We can hide by that pickup. They really want to get into that room. All right, let's hide here. Pretty please. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Maybe. Ooh. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stuff these guys quietly. Nice. Now we just have to get it quietly. Ah! Hey man, what? that drew some attention. Be careful. Right, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't want him to do that. Um. Open door. <sighs> Come on. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Does that license plate say shit happens? Okay. Uh. I think I have to break it. Wait, 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 wait. I want to hear what Glenn has to say. He's usually got a plan. Their growling attracts the others. How are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? I don't know. I think I have to break the glass, though. I'm done trying to punch out window. What? I just need to figure out how to get that window open. Sorry if there's tons of cuts. I really don't know what to do. There's a truck over there. Maybe we can find you a weapon. Yes, I'm trying, but I can't open the window. Y'all, I don't know what to do. I'm, I've, I've, I'm looking everywhere. I can't break the glass. I can't, I can't look. I can't open the door. I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. All of them are saying I should go to the right, but I don't. <sighs> I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. I can't do anything over here. That's the thing. I, I just don't know. I, I genuinely, so, I'm so confused. I've been stuck at this part for so long. What is happening? Okay, apparently there's a pillow on here that I did not see. Oh my god, that was like smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. I don't know what to do with this though, <laughs> but now we have a pillow, so that's great. Um, maybe I can use it to break the glass. <laughs> I don't know something. I did not see that on the ground. Okay. Can't use a pillow on the door. There's a pig in the truck. Yes, I know. What do I do? Okay. Use pillow to. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Maybe not without tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Yeah. <laughs> like what? Okay. So I can't use a pillow. Okay. Um. Get out your gun. With the noise. No, 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 no. Just follow my lead. Oh, Stay right oh, oh, me. it'll muffle it. Okay, okay. Whew. That was sick. Be quiet. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hopefully that didn't track. Okay. Okay. Alright, uh. Can we look inside this car? Wait, yeah. 
I don't know. I don't. Okay, we can't. We can't. Besides, that'll be too noisy. Um. Oh. Spark plug. I don't know what that is, but I'm taking it. I don't know what that is. <laughs> um. Put it in neutral. Sparky thing. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. Could come in handy. Okay, we'll do. So now what? We're gonna move the. I prefer cover that can't just roll away. We can get that guy by the wall over there. I bet. Okay, so now we push it. Oh man, this is kind of loud. It's gonna be loud. Oh, there's an axe. That was awesome. <laughs> We're being loud. Oh, okay. Wait. Now can I open it with the spark plug? Wait, shit. No. <laughs> Not the door. Okay. Wait. Ah. Let me see the spark plug. Okay. Porcelain inside these things turns carbon dust to tissue paper. My spark plug. Okay. Crap. Stop. Don't look. It's nothing. Now we got the all. Oh. I thought it was a screwdriver. Scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> okay, okay, we're making progress here. There's more than can be said by the <laughs> by the first half of this episode, bro. I was so confused. Holy crap! Did not see that pillow on the ground. Okay, now, now that we have the screwdriver, whatever it was, now we can stab some brains. Also, sorry if I'm like a little quiet. My brain is a little is lagging behind a little bit because I woke up really early to get started. But I've come to realize that you can't do that without going to bed early. Because I still want to go to bed at like 12 a.m. and then wake up early. That, that, that does not work. <laughs> that does not work. Trust me. Your girl is a little sleep deprived. This big as the prime walker killer. I should be able to take those guys out when they come around the corner of the RV. What if I just did it now, though? <gasps> Why did I do that? Okay. Oh my god. No, I... Except the head! The head! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh crap! Please, get him! Okay. Oh man. Nice. Thanks for having my back. For sure. They're so cute. I love Glenn. Please tell me he stays. And I also need that axe, please. Well, let's kill him before we grab that. Okay, now we grab the axe, right? Dude, where'd your weapon go? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, where'd your weapon go? It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? They're having a little too much fun with this, I think. I mean, I think you could still grab that, right? Do more. That should help. Am I gonna do all this by myself, Glenn? Let's go. Wait. Okay, I missed the stairs. <laughs> okay. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Better be. Okay. Let's go. Um, don't like this angle. Okay. Uh. <laughs> now we go. Dang. Dang. Rad. Rad. <laughs> nice job, Lee. Now we can bust that door down. Hey girl. Don't be scared. Hello in there. 
We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Oh. Uh, what if she is bitten or something? <sighs> Wait, no. <laughs> I have the axe. Hold on. You might want to break through that board first. Yes. Sorry. Nice. I assume she she she's probably important because we didn't have a choice whether to save her or not. So. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh, oh God. shoot! I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, was she bitten? She's been bitten. Okay, yeah. What? I told you. I said go away. I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Oh, shit. What? No. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Oh my god, Glenn. Oh my god. Uh. Come with us. We'll find you some help. I don't think this is a good idea. I didn't want to do that. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it I to me. I think we all know. I can just, you know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. She she's she's going to turn. Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. I'm sorry, okay. but like fine. She's There's really no other option. I'm sorry. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. You can't watch this. Let's go. I wouldn't want to watch it We either. can't go yet. What? She needs her gun Why back. Not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. It's a it's a horrible decision. Like, I, I'm happy about this, but like... You sure? Yeah. At least maybe I can like stay with her a little while or something. God bless you, alright? God bless you too. Damn. Because the other option would be she would like try to steal it from Carly or something and then just do it. At least that way she's like at peace with the decision. You know what I mean? I tried to justify this. I don't know if that was the right choice or not, but I mean, with something like she gets bit in the arm, we could just chop that thing off, you know, but getting bit in the torso, like you can't. There's no Everyone coming back. Right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and well, yeah, we're okay. Still single I've got though. Two cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here. Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Oh right. Okay. Can we talk to Clementine? Where's my sweet baby girl? You good? Everything okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, great. <laughs> Talk to you later. At least I still have the axe. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Hmm. What's your story, Glenn? What's your story, Glenn? I deliver pizzas around here. I brought a couple to the Everts a few times. Sorry. I mean, the folks that own this place. Just really good people. It sucks seeing this place like this. Yeah, I know them. Isn't that the truth? What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. 
Didn't he have, like, sisters and stuff? I think I remember hearing that. Um, we didn't really see much Glenn backstory at all, or hear much. Uh, back the motor in. Sorry about that. Back the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. That is good. You let her do it, you know? You said give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? <laughs> Mercy, man. I couldn't let her go on like that. We couldn't. You never know. You can't give up hope. I think it was over for her, Glenn. Try to get some rest. Huh. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, it was. I mean, she saw it happen to her boyfriend. He got sick. I hope- oh, I'm behind the thing. I was like, why can't I talk to her? Um, I hope they don't hate me because of that. <laughs> Story of the century here. Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio. That's right. Well, you can't even some work one. <laughs> politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks. Girl, by the way. don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. She's <laughs> she works for the radio, but she can't even turn one on. She doesn't know how batteries work, but even it's funny. Hey guys. How are we doing? Just checking in. If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. Can do. How's he doing? I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Okay. <laughs> Great. Talk to you later. I'm just trying to be thorough here. How's he doing? I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Okay, I'll catch you later. I love how Clem always comes in here with me. Okay, last time we looked in here for a while, and I think I found everything, so let's break this door down. <laughs> or not. Okay, um. <laughs> it's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able okay. to find pills for Larry in there. His name is Larry, I forgot about that um let's do another quick look around first aid kit I, I i must be able to use the axe for something i wonder if the keys There's are in no the bathroom getting in there from out here that great does its job i don't think i checked the bathroom yet can i apparently not um oh 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 we can like step outside i think if we talk to this guy. Hey, Doug. How we doing? Carly likes Good. you, by the way. Want to go have a look around outside? Yes, I do. Let's have a look around. Okay. Because I have exhausted my resources inside. <laughs> Maybe I can find a lockpick or something. Oh, we're going together? Okay. Jesus. Oh, damn. Okay. Um... Well, <laughs> never mind. They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How yep. the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah. Yeah. I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Oh boy, uh, what are we doing again? Well, I can take a brick. I can't reach that brick. Uh, okay, well, let's talk a little bit. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time 
On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. Where okay. are you? Might as well be honest. I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. He's not really forthcoming with that, though. Uh, where's the keys? <laughs> Good idea where the pharmacy keys might be. We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. We weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Aww. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility, so... Right. Um... Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. And the drugstore's safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and walks up well. Okay, I don't know what I can do with the remote, so let's try. Think you can do anything with this? Yeah, I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much to do with it now. Man, I miss my robots. <laughs> You're a strange guy, Doug. <laughs> I know. I know. Okay, I guess I can't. Trap locker. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. What, is that his brother yeah, or something? I agree. I just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. It wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. The brick. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, <laughs> it didn't work. Hmm. It's a combination lock. Uh, do you know it? Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. Well, we're also party to some egregious fire code violations. <laughs> That's true. I don't think I can use the remote with it, but okay. Open sesame. Um, okay. It won't work. I was kidding. <laughs> it's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doc. <laughs> He's like, I, I doubt. It was a joke. Um, well... Maybe I can use the axe, but did let's you guys keep working. Get in there and get weapons. I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up, and they tried. And what happened? I think they're on I the think street. They're most of who you see wandering around out there. Jinx. All right. That place is full of TVs and electronics. What is that? No, damn think it. You can do anything with this. You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. Oh my god, could you imagine? You can just do that? <laughs> By doing that? I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Wow. Let's try. Took me forever to program my remote. Damn. Well fucking done, Doc. Nice. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Okay. Who's to say it already hasn't? They don't seem to be interested, though. Okay. That got a few of them to take notice. Now, maybe. Oh. But not enough. Okay. Well, what if I use the brick? I gotta get this open somehow. So now that they're distracted, maybe I can break this. Okay, cool. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Let's toss it Carefully. towards the I can't reach that brick. Then open it a little bit. Okay, now be oh my god, be quick, please. Okay. <clears throat> now throw it towards the TV. But wait. Okay, please tell me this isn't going to break the TVs.
There we go. There we go. Now look at them. Aren't they interesting? Is it your favorite show? Okay, thank god. Wow. Now's the time. This is what brain power does. Now we go. All right. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Be quick, please. Come on, Lee. Oh man, is this his brother? I don't. I don't know. Aww. Hey, bud. I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. Why are you shouting, Doug? It is Lee's brother. Oh, Yeah, you, you gotta get his head. Are we decapitating him? Oh my god. Okay. Jeez, man. <sighs> that was very noisy. We gotta find those keys. God. Aww. There we go. That's really sad. Holy crap! Huh. Run! Yeah, see? It's because we were shouting and stuff. I'm surprised it took them this long. Okay. Alright, great. Now we gotta be real fast. This guy with his stupid heart condition. <laughs> Ruining it for everybody. That was really sad though. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Let's go. Hopefully you know what you're looking for. It kind of seemed like Lee's brother was like the golden child of them. He was like a doctor. and I think Lee thought that his parents were disappointed in him. I mean, he did possibly kill someone, so. I get it, but it's still. Oh. Oh no. Oh, shit. We gotta hurry. Oh. There's an alarm. Crap. <laughs> really? Uh oh. She got a screwdriver in her. Let's grab it. Oh man, that's gonna alert every single zombie in the area. <sighs> Crap. Oh man. Doc, come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast! I gotta get my dad out of here! He just left! <laughs> Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, Thanks, I better Kenny. take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. All right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Kenny's really taking, the taking charge here. I appreciate that. 
Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Shit. Okay, no, they call Glenn. If we don't make it through this. You should know that. I think you're a great guy. Uh. We will make it through this. Doug, if we don't make it through this. Guys, stop. Oh, she likes him. So you can love each other. Huh? That I should know. Oh, he's dead. He's totally dead. Aw, Doug. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, shit. Wow, she's a good shot. Oh no. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. Oh man. She just started looking. The window is screwed. Oh no. Uh come on, come on, come on. A pole or something. I found something! Oh, the cane! Thank you, sweetheart! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh no, oh no, no! Doug! Oh no, God, come on with this! Not again! This is gonna be the only- Fuck! Oh, oh, man! Oh, God damn it! I got it. I got it. Uh. I got it. Come on. Shit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Wait. What? Wait. What? Oh shit. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. Please let me do that again. Oh thank God it didn't. Okay. 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 I got- I gotta save Carly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I did Oh no. I'm sorry. Okay, now run to save Doug! <laughs> oh man. This sucks. Oh man. Oh, God. I'm, Let's go. so I'm sorry, Doug. You got Doug. <gasps> oh god, oh god, oh god. You gotta move! Oh man, oh man, die, 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 die! Oh man. Okay. Okay, we're running, we're running, we're running. What are you fucking talking about? What are you ta- What? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Kenny! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you, Kenny. Especially a good friend. Oh, I love you, Kenny. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I thought he was going to kill me for a second. I was like, what, Kenny? No. Oh, man. Okay. Holy crap. Oh my god. Wow. I feel bad about Doug. But Carly's a better shot. <laughs> and I like Carly, so... They both had... skills, though. Aww. Oh man, Clementine! After we got that fucking medicine for him, what a douchebag. Lily, your father's a jackass. Oh. oh god. Oh boy, okay. All right. God, that dude is such a jerk. Hey, Glenn. Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage nine catastrophe. Augusta, stage. I think I need to go. Huh? It would land. Yeah, I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. 
when we left a few days ago. Could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Oh, I don't want you to go, Glenn. I guess it makes sense for the story. What's wrong? Right. Find your friends. Be safe. Thanks, Leo. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hmm. hope. You guys be safe. What about that? And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. If they go from upstairs. Are you just going to let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway. She, she didn't have a choice though. I wouldn't have done that if she could have been saved. She just would have been dangerous to everyone else. The least we could do is like make her comfortable. So that's interesting. So I'm guessing he goes back to Atlanta and it sort of takes off from like from where we see him in the show saving Rick and everything. I mean I figured I didn't know if it was like an AU situation but it does seem like this is how it is. That's that's cool. So please tell me we're gonna go with Kenny. Cause I love him. Hey kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Earlier. Yeah, we do. I uh, mentioned you gotta ask yourself what you're gonna do if Clementine's parents don't show. Yeah, you did. You think that's gonna happen? Her parents showed up? No, I don't. Well, I want you to know that I think you've got it in you. I think you can take care of that little girl just fine. Thanks, Kenny. I think so. You got it. Doc's just going crazy with someone. I don't know what he's talking about. Okay, I can't talk to Katja. Hey, Carly. Sorry about Doug. Um, but I did save you. Don't know if it was the right call or not, but... I'm okay. You know. Considering. I, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. I don't know. <laughs> you better have. <laughs> anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. Uh, I thought you needed the help. Ah, maybe that makes sense. But it wasn't a choice like that. It, it was just something I did. I don't know why. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? I Me wanted too, to. I really did. But Yeah, I don't I don't know. Can you just look over there? Hey kids. Oh man, check this Duck's out. just talking off her head. Gun on her shoulder. It's all like pow pow pow. I thought that super dinosaur was toast. But you know what? Hey him. He wasn't. Oh, and then Hey Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, she's really going through it right now. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Aww. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Aww. Lee, come here for a second. No. Let me go deal with this. <laughs> oh, man. Clementine, another thing. Poor Clem. <laughs> you like my daughter? Her dad tried to kill me, so. Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh, 
Everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. You watch it, jackass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? <laughs> yes, I do. I do have a second. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. We're lucky to have you. Oh, shoot. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Hmm. I don't know about that. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I don't know. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Shit. They're bombing, I think. Didn't they bomb Atlanta? To stop it from spreading? Oh, that was it! No! I want to play the next one. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't Aww. owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Give it the Lee, energy bar. soon. Oh, Hi, shit. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's oh, beautiful. boy. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bears. Shit. Oh, bandits now? Oh, man. Who is this guy? Never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore, we never thought Teddy's kid was bit. You went out of your way to side against him. Girl, what? Oh my god. Oh no. Please. No more, please. Please. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Man. Okay, everything's going to be okay. Looks like that. Oh wow, I'm like 50/50 with everything here. Everyone else is, I guess. All right, let's see what choices I made compared to other people. Honesty, lied to Herschel. You and 54% of players were honest. So looks like the majority of people, but everything is really split. That's really interesting. Who did you save, Duck or Sean? You and 52% of players chose Duck. I think, honestly, it's because he was just a little kid and I wanted Kenny to like me. <laughs> uh, side with Kenny, you and 54% of players defended him. Yeah. I mean, why, why would you, God, the guy is such a dick. Mercy gave Irene the gun. You and 40, 47% of players gave her the gun. Yeah. I don't think that was a majority choice. I, I just, okay, here's my logic here. Like I didn't, obviously if she, there was a chance to save her, I, I wouldn't have given her the gun. I would try to save her, but like, we kind of all know that she didn't really have any other options. And I, I truly think if if I didn't, she would just grab it from Carly or something and, and do it herself and she wouldn't have been at peace because it's either you do it yourself or you have someone else do it and it's like, I don't know. It seemed like what she wanted. I'm not condoning it, <laughs> obviously. But in the zombie apocalypse, like, things are a little different, you know? Uh, Who would you save, Doug or Carly? And 49% of players chose Carly. Again, very split. 50 50 i don't i don't know why exactly i chose carly i think i got to know her a little more um compared to doug i mean we kind of just started talking to doug when that happened i didn't didn't really know him that well even though i liked him and even though carly has a lot of usefulness with her sharpshooting 
Doug also had that like the techie side and he was smart and crafty. So definitely could have used either of them. <sighs> but damn it. Okay, based on the comic book. Okay, so it is based more on the comic book than, than the show. That makes sense. Okay, so I want to talk about my ending thoughts a little more. I really enjoyed the first episode so far. I'm really, really enjoying it. I love the characters that we're meeting. I really enjoy playing as Lee. And I also want to point out, I, I just think it's really cool. I was talking to my friend about this the other day, but it's nice and refreshing. I know this game is pretty old at this point, but to play as a character that is a minority is really different and it's something that needs to happen more often like um specifically like black characters in games are normally not playable characters i can only think of a few like grand theft auto miles morales game that just came out this one this game playing as lee um i like seeing more diversity and i like seeing uh, more playable characters that aren't just like side characters you know what i mean it's it's really refreshing to see and i hope that i mean i think that nowadays we're seeing a lot more of it which is really nice but it, it's definitely something that needs to happen more often and i really appreciated that seeing that um i think it's something that could be easily overlooked but i i think it's really cool and yeah not just it being diverse but having him be a really solid character so far really love that. I, even though this game is older, um, I think it's held up really well at this point. And there, there's so much interesting story going on. I cannot wait to play the second episode. I'm going to be playing that like right after I finish this one because I want to see what's going to happen. I don't know how I feel about Lily. I saw in the trailer that she's going to be confronting Lee. Um, which I think is pretty stupid because we did save her father even though he was an asshole and he still is and I don't see that changing. I think he's kind of just a dick. Um, I would love to see some character development maybe having him be not so bad of a guy eventually. I don't know but he has a chip on his shoulder about Lee because obviously because of his past which I get in this world like you, you got to take what allies you can get despite their past. Like I said cannot wait to play more of this game so excited that i'm finally doing this like this <laughs> i have been wanting to play this series for so long and i'm finally here and i'm seriously enjoying it a lot i was definitely confused for a lot of this episode so i feel kind of bad about that there's gonna be a lot of jump cuts again this is also a really short episode but i wanted to um start the the next one with a fresh video and i'll be probably doing episodes in two parts that way these episodes aren't super long um and i can get the videos out faster so really hope you guys are enjoying this series so far like i am leave a like if you did or subscribe if you're new because i'd love to have you stick around and watch me play some more video games and hang out with me i will see you guys in the next video goodbye